The mode of transport for this memorable ride is a beautifully restored 1921 Rolls Royce. Smile over there. Smile at Steve, dear. Steve, he's on the right. Our journey started from Bryston, an attractive village where lived the Reverend William Fox, 9th of August 1813 to 1881, who made some significant discoveries of dinosaur fossils on the local beaches. We travelled through Mottiston past the manor house with a sheltered garden, herbaceous borders and exotic plants. The Sun Inn at Halverston is a stunning 16th century thatched house overlooking Compton Beach. A left hand turn takes us through Brook Village, a former parish with a population of 156 in 1931. In 1933 the parish was abolished and is now merged with Bryston. From Book Village, we turn left onto the Military Road, where in 1860 the RNLI built a boathouse. Horses from the local farm will be used to take the lifeboat to the beach. In 1937, the station closed, having saved some 286 lives.
Travelling out towards Black Gang along the open, windy military road, we pass the church at Chale. before climbing the road towards Ventnor. Opposite the St. Catherine's Oratory, affectionately known as the Pepper Pot, the only medieval lighthouse surviving in England, is a turning into a car park with a spectacular view of the south coast of the island. Here we will pause a while and discover some interesting facts about this beautiful old car. The engine is quiet, isn't it? It's yeah. incredible. It's so smooth and it corners so well. Yes. And you know, I, even with that, that guy going very slowly, yes. I stayed, it was in fourth gear the whole way. It's got enormous power. Cool. Seven and a half litres of engine. Well, please don't burn up too much petrol for oh, us. Yes. We enjoyed this. It's been fantastic. Well, I think I think Ben is a bit a, a step too far. Perhaps he might go back by tail. <laughs> yes, yes. The body specifically. But it's a good body. It's an A-form body. Right. Um, but as a result, it's, uh, it's, obviously the sunbeams were much uh, lighter cars, but less powerful. Yes. So the, bo so the, light, the, the body work is very light. And some of those body works in the old Rolls Royces were very heavy. Right. As a consequence, this car goes up the clappers. It just goes... <laughs> It really does, and uh, uh, my Rolls Royce man. This is not the, you know, this is not a. Some, some of the Rolls Royces are so fantastically made, right. but my Rolls Royce man says this is the best car that because it's a driver's car. It really drives oh, yeah. well. Yeah. Hmm. As you can see, we were, and I, I sped up a little bit there. I hope you weren't blown away too no, much. No, no, I was really enjoyable, <laughs> but I couldn't hear. But I know no, between the traffic, you, you can't hear, hear anything. There's um, most of them had a an Oster. Um, uh, screen here which right. is you, you that folded down fold it up and then two windows fold out yes and i've got one there right 
but because it's a sunbeam but it's a little small, mm -hmm. I'm having difficulty fitting it. Those two balls, what are they called? They go out when you sp as you spin uh, from centrifugal force. Uh, um, governor, they're governors, governor, aren't yes. they? Yes, so governor. It's, it's, it's got a governor on it. Right. So, and that keeps to the, the same revs, basically. Right. And then it adjusts the carburetor accordingly. Uh, so it's kind of like a cruise control. Which of so course you could do on the old ones. I mean, I was brought really? off on the old Zenith uh, carburetors and Solex ones, which yeah. you could adjust the uh, uh, the fast running jets or so on. Modern ones, I mean, you can't, you're not allowed no, to touch, touch them. I mean, but this 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 mechanism actively the the governor actively ch alters the throttle. So right. you just leave it alone. You have to touch nothing, and 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 it just keeps the same rev. So. So if you're going up a hill and the car wants to slow down, it gives you more. It gives more juice. It's very, very clever. Good afternoon. Hello. Admiring how beautiful your car is. Thank you. I could do the wash, to be honest, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's stunning. This is the uh, ignition. Um, right. Advanced and retard. And then this is the. Um, Mixture. Mixture. We push on. Right? And then this. You've got battery ignition, which is the coil, and both, and then magneto ignition. So it's like a fail-safe, so you never ever... Right. Uh, so I've, I've been through a big puddle, the water floods the distributor, right, which just stops working, but the magneto carries on, and you don't even notice the difference. When I was in Norway, we did three, we did 4,000 miles in three weeks in Norway. Right. And um, uh, we... the... Magneto packed in, and I didn't even notice because the the um, distributor just carried on. It's a fantastic car. It really is a fantastic car. And of course, what, what what year is? Because this is the uh, when he was still alive. Because the red. Uh, well, uh, that's that's the um, that's the uh, common perception. But apparently, I'm told that uh, it was entirely a marketing thing. That they really? Changed the yeah, it wasn't to do with the. Oh, I thought game. when he passed yes. away, they turned to black. Yes, in their room. but apparently not. Oh, right. but I could be mistaken. I could be mistaken. I've heard. I've heard. Other, I've heard otherwise. They they they're made to be altered and uh, and, and and stuff. So. Okay. I, and that wonderful experience. Did you enjoy yes. that? Yes. Yeah. Our journey home takes us on a different route through Cheo village.
and then on through Yafford, passing an ancient Grade II listed water mill, which ceased operating in 1970.
Finally, wending our way back through the leafy countryside home. <laughs> 